don't worry, you not my baby's father anyway, so you need to, like, go on, kick rocks, get on with your life or whatever. I'm like, I'm a very predictable person. You would come home long enough to change your clothes, take a shower, and leave again. So you're supposed to still be in the honeymoon, newlywed phase. And instead of that, you have a paternity issue. Secrets exposed, emotions running high, and truth bombs dropping left and right. Paternity courts are all about DNA twists, shocking revelations, and drama so intense it'll leave you at the tip of your seat. Excited? So are we. First up, we have Sterling and Harris on paternity court. These two have been in this complicated state for 15 years. Sterling wants Harris to own up as the father of her 11-month-old son, Kesan. But Sterling's not having it. He's tired of raising a child he believes isn't his. You've come to get the DNA proof you need to remove your name from the birth certificate and finally get Miss Harris out of your life. Is that correct? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Now you might be wondering why the doubt while well, Sterling isn't making things easy, dropping bombshells during arguments, claiming Kesson isn't Harris's. That's not my baby, and I'm going off of what Charity is telling me. First of all, oh, that, what is she it saying? It is his baby, and he knows it's his baby. That's, that is not the truth. It, it is, is his baby. baby. She tells me when we get to arguing, this is not your baby. But wait, there's more. Harris reveals Sterling said that the baby might not be his during her pregnancy, leaving him heartbroken. Now, the court's on fire with accusations and doubts, especially when Harris admits to being intimate with another man just weeks before being with Sterling. The tension escalates as Sterling demands the truth, and the truth, it hits hard. Harris is the father. Hold up, Judge Lake isn't letting Harris off easy. Pointing out her behavior might drive men away from their kids. There are men that don't come see their children because they don't want to deal with a woman that acts like you. I'm keeping it real. But it's not because it's wrong or right. It's just because it's a reality of how relationships are. I can see how frustrated you are. I've heard exactly but what you said. Why he cheat? But the point, I get that. That's why our relationship and dynamic is like that. You think I don't get that? Next up, we have Mr. and Mrs. Hendrick on paternity court. Unlike our usual paternity drama, this one's a real jaw dropper because it's between a married couple. And get this, it's not their first attempt. Mrs. Hendrick accused Mr. Hendrick of straying before. He was naked on the bed and Chris was in there. Oh, I'm perfectly aware of what's out of state. There's the girls and then the baby, I mean. You're expecting? Yeah, I'm. Oh thick. my. And now the tables have turned. Mr. Hendrick has doubts about their baby and believes Mrs. Hendrick's been unfaithful. Mrs. Hendrick, though, is all confident, swearing the baby's Mr. Hendrick's, even going to the extent that the kid looks exactly as if he's Hendrick's twin. At the same time, Mr. Hendrick's not feeling the bond with the baby, adding fuel to the fire. And guess what started this whole mess? Facebook messages from a co-worker with some spicy content. But hold on, because Mrs. Hendrick's got her own side of the story. She admits to kissing another man, but claims it went no further. He started a bonfire and everything. One of his friends that he hung out with and worked with came over. While we were hanging out, we were drinking whiskey, and we I had ended up kissing him. And I immediately called him and asked him to come and get me. And I told him what happened, and he said, where are you, I told him. He came, and he ended up leaving without me. And I remember up to that point, and then after that, I don't. I mean, I don't remember because I kept drinking. Now, it's a battle of he said, she said, and the truth's as murky as ever. But guess what? The results are in. And Mr. Hendrick, you are the father. Mr. Hendricks, you are the father. I told you you had no reason. I mean, you didn't need to doubt me. Miss Hendricks, he did. And there was reason. It was to there. Doubt. I'm sorry. We, we, we it, got it the answer there. we want. Mr. and Mrs. Kell's journey as a married couple was a bit troubled. You see, Mrs. Kell's got some doubts about the father of their unborn baby, and she's not holding back. She's heartbroken to be in court questioning her husband's role as the father. Mr. Kell, on the other hand, is here to save their marriage and prove he's the dad. But hold on, cause here's where it gets weird. Mrs. Kell admits she cheated just a month into their marriage. Heartbreak and lots of issues for us. So you're supposed to still be in the honeymoon, newlywed phase. And instead of that, you have a paternity issue. Yep, you heard that right. And all this emotional drama is taking a toll, especially on Mrs. Kell, who's finding it hard to enjoy your pregnancy? It has affected me in a huge way, not only just our marriage, but my pregnancy as well, because it's hard for me to necessarily, I mean, yes, I'm excited for it, um, but it makes it harder when there's so much stress put into the pregnancy. Um, it, you know, rather than being all everybody together, you know, having a good time for like a baby shower, say we were supposed to have a baby shower. 
But why cheat after just one month? Well, Mrs. Kell blames it on a rushed relationship and unresolved issues with her ex. Oops, is that complicated? But Mr. Kell's not giving up hope. He's got faith in their marriage and sees similarities between himself and the unborn baby. And guess what? The prenatal DNA test came out. Mr. Kiesel, you are the father. I know that has to feel good. A little bit. How's it feel, sir? Amazing. I'm so happy for you. And I know those are tears of joy. And I can imagine you have cried the other kinds of tears. Woo, what a mix of emotions, huh? What do you think? Do drop your thoughts below and we'll meet again in the next one. Until then, see ya.